and then oh that was bad so I'm just gonna skip the intro because there's a lot of explaining that needs to be done for all 40 of you who are still subscribed so basically I'm just going to talk about some things while doing my nail polish yeah uh, really quick, the nail color I'm going to use for this week is the L'Oreal Disney one. Uh, this does not have a shade name, but it is a very beautiful red with Mickey on it. Uh, this came with red, white, and I believe a glittery one, but uh, someone in my family borrowed my white one and I never got it back. Here's the red one and I really wanted a nice Christmassy red so this is the color I'm going in with I have a top coat by Sally Hansen ultimate shield top and base coat and it looks like this and then my top coat that I adore is out the door America's number one super fast drying top coat for nails it is by I N M and the, the words for those letters are so small I cannot read them but this is a huge step up from what I was using before if you remember that polish top coat I was using before those were dark times but this is fantastic it doesn't have any of that sticky stuff it's just a simple liquid I love it while I'm going in with the base the base coat I'm going to be talking so I have been away for about four months, I think. I think my last video was four months, five months ago with uh, my friend Nicole. And a lot has changed since then. Obviously, I'm no longer blonde. I have, you can't really tell unless I, you know, turn, but I got my hair cut. And I got a couple of new tattoos going on. And this shirt is new, like, yeah. I did not go away to uh, get new stuff. I was doing my final semester at my school and I really wanted to take time to focus on that since it's uh, a very important time for me. And I am graduating in January uh -huh. and then I am transferring to another university. I'm very excited. And I took time away to focus on that because it was very time consuming and I was working at two jobs and was a part of two campus clubs plus four classes and then any extracurricular activities and then you know time with my friends so it was very hard to fit YouTube into all of that so instead of posting a video like once a month like I could have done I just went MIA great but I want to, I was thinking about my channel the last four months and what I want to do differently for the new year, what I want to achieve in the new year, and I'm going to bump, bump, bump some resolutions. So resolution number one is to post every week like I've, like I was. I need to get back into doing that. I want to get back into doing that. And I want to give you guys something to watch and not be gone for four months, you know? So that is resolution number one, to post every week like I've been. However, I do want to change the day that I post. I was posting Mondays, and then I was posting on Sundays. I don't know if you caught that change in scheduled programming, but... I do want to post every week. I just want to change the day. I believe I want to do it on a weekend. So that way I have, you know, time to sit down and film, time to edit, and it can still go up, you know. And you guys have something to do on your weekends, all 40 of you. So I was thinking of either keeping the Sunday programming date or making it Saturday. And, you know... If you feel like, comment below which day you would rather rather see, Saturday or Sunday. This is really nice so far. It looks a little different on camera than it does in real life. It looks more like an orangey red, and in real life it looks less of an orangey red. Resolution number two. 
is to kind of change my channel a little bit into something more consistent and more of a theme almost. When I started this channel, I didn't want to stick to one thing. I wanted to do like a bunch of different things to see like, you know, what I was really into. And I got the idea of sitting down, doing something like makeup or even just eating because we all know I love to eat and just maybe doing some commentary on things that are going on in the media, things that are going on around me, things that are going on around you, something like that. So like kind of what I'm doing now, I'm doing my nails and giving you a life update. It's kind of like that, but it'll be better, I promise. And it'll be better planned, <laughs> okay? Maybe. So that is resolution number two. I wanna change my channel up a little bit. Uh, let me know what you think about that. If you want me to keep doing what I've been doing, I will totally keep doing what I've been doing. If you want me to try something new, like the, you know, sit down and do something while doing commentary, I can totally try that out too. Resolution number three is to figure out more ideas and then film them. I have a notebook here that is, I'm starting fresh and I have a couple of uh, video ideas for the end of this year and then I already have one for next year, which I'm really excited about. And I always have these ideas and like there's a good like, I don't know, seven times out of 10 that I won't do them like I had a furry friend tag planned for the last two years and I just never did it. The biggest reason is because we have seven animals in our house and I want to do all of them. I don't just want to pick one animal. And first of all, make you think I only have one animal because we have seven. And second of all, I don't want any of the other animals to feel jealous, even though I know they don't care. <laughs> I don't want, you know, if I'm doing one cat, I have to do all five plus the dog plus the snake. I have to be inclusive to all my animals. So that is why I never did that one. If that is something you'd actually want to see, seven parts of a furry friend tag, let me know. I probably will not do it because it'll be seven parts. Like my declutter series was like four parts and that was kind of... And I have a lot of tag videos. I really do enjoy tag videos and I don't know if you guys enjoy the tag videos. My very first get to know me tag video was like over 200 views thank you so much and I think I will continue doing tag videos and because I really like them and they're, they're just fun resolution number four right four is to grow as a channel I would like to gain more subscribers and make this little family bigger because I mean I love all 40 of you that have stayed loyal and that have stayed with me these last four months that I was MIA and I want us to have more family so let's see if we can make that happen by the end of 2020. So those are my resolutions for my channel and I do have 2020 resolutions for my overall life, and you guys will see that in a little bit. I am making a 2020 vision board, and you can expect me to make 2020 vision jokes the whole time, and probably for the whole year. So, yeah. I am putting my vision board together this coming Friday, and I think I would like to do it vlog style slash sit down style and kind of vlog the process and vlog a few of the pieces I have for myself for 2020 and then sit down with the board, show you guys everything and like give you a full detailed depiction of what my 2020 is going to be. And if you have no idea what a vision board is, I will link my other vision board video below. And that I believe has a link to another vision board video that goes into fuller detail as to what a vision board is. So I wanted to jump back on here. I missed you guys, all 40 of you. Love you so much. Um, thank you for bearing with me and we will get back to our previously scheduled programming.